Today we're going to unbox a custom made system. I'm going to get these two unboxed and uh, set up on the desk. Then we're going to go into the server room and use one of the servers on the KVM to uh, add the computer as an object in uh, our English OU. Let's go ahead and start with the monitor then. So we've got a Hans G 22 inch monitor here. Uh, these things are just pretty box standard monitors, but they're still reliable and pretty good image quality on the screen. So we picked these because they're cheap. Let's go ahead and open it and I'll see what we get inside. So what have we got in here? We have got a uh, power cable, as you always get with these things. We'll just put that aside for now. Uh, obviously a, a VGA cable, you need those, or DVI. Uh, you get yourself an instruction manual and also the uh, auxiliary cable and the, the stand screws are in here, separate. I don't know if you can just about see them there. And then we'll pull the screen out. Here we go. Take the polystyrene off. And then the... The screen is covered in like a plastic protective sheet thing. I don't know why they do that. And then the stand is here as well. Let's go put this on the desk. Okay, so the screen needs to be attached to the stand. The stand is here. It takes three screws. We'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay, now the screen's attached, we can take the pin out when we're ready because it will sort of allow the uh, stand to be adjustable, the height of the monitor to be adjustable. I'm going to plug the auxiliary cable in here and one of the ends of the D sub cable into the DVI port. These are DVI monitors as well, but um, for now we're just going to use VGAs, that's what the machines have. So these are custom made systems. They're Core i7 processors, We've got 8 gig of RAM in this beast, um, a 128 gig SSD from Sandisk Cruiser. Let's have a little look in here. We'll get a keyboard and mouse separate, and uh, the base unit and a power cable, but we don't need the power cable right now. So let's go ahead and pull these out. So the keyboard and mouse are in here. We'll open those in a minute. Power brick cable, but don't need that. System out of here, well, yeah. and then a driver disc as well. Because uh, when you're imaging these things, you have to obviously import your drivers into Windows Deployment Services and MDT uh, to be able to image correctly without any issues. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the machine up and get it out of its package. <laughs> and there we are, the front of these look like that. So I'll just put the driver disc aside for now because I don't think we'll need that. If we do, we'll obviously use it accordingly. And plug this system in now. So we'll put the monitor on top of it, like that. And then we're going to connect up all of the sort of leads required. So VGA. everything in and then we'll go through to the server room and get this machine added to Active Directory in the correct OU to USBs oh, there we go I've already created an image for these so there's no need to be for me to do that today I will go ahead and switch the machine on Machine switched on, and we'll just go into the BIOS first of all. It's an MSI motherboard. Uh, these things are really decent motherboards. Uh, as you can see, i7-4770T there. Nice and powerful. I'm going to go to the settings and boot. Boot option one is network, right? So why isn't it doing it? Oh, I clicked the, I clicked the wrong network button. Network is the first boot, there we go. Let's click save on that and reset. It will now pixie boot. Um, looking for our WD Windows Deployment Services. F12 to enter pixie boot. 
We're going to go ahead and ask it to boot from the boot WIM created by Windows Deployment Services and MDT, or MDT in actual fact, Light Touch PE. Let's go through to the server in then. Uh, we're going to add this computer, or well, the computer's name, as an object to AD. Helps if I take my keys with me. <laughs> I know, I'm going to have to. Now I've got my key with me, I can actually uh, get into the server room. So let's go ahead. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Give me okay, let's go into the server room now. Well, hey, your favourite place and mine, sort of. Okay, let's bring the KVM out. There's the KVM with my GoPro on my head. Hello. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to balance that there so I can see what it's seen. Okay, so let's wake the KVM up. And the first place we want to go to is Server 2012. It's one of our domain controllers. It's running in Server 2012, obviously. We need to upgrade this to R2. But for now, it's staying as it is. It's logging in. Okay, we're logged in as our domain administrator account. Let's open up AD. So on the taskbar here, we've got AD. Okay, and then if we come down our tree, we've got stations on the left-hand side. I'm going to come into admin systems and then I'm going to add a new got a new computer here and I'm going to call that English Office 2 okay because there's two of these machines and by adding that to the admin systems OU if I specify that later on I'm going to add number one as well in MDT in a minute when I add this computer it'll join the domain seamlessly it's pre-staged moving it to the other OU okay so that's pretty much all we need to do on the server I know it sounds stupid I can look at the deployment server for you if you'd like so we've got a deployment server that I've set up here if I go onto that server instead if I log us in log us into that instead we've got uh, Windows deployment services here and MDT the toolkit together as we'll see in the task sequence here, we've got uh, 8.1 Pro, T2 Stone, laptop, SSD upgrade, machine, admin stone. We're going to use the admin stone image here. I'm going to go ahead and show you that in a second. And uh, it's going to basically use this task sequence I've created called admin stone to set this, that computer next door with that computer name that I want. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to lock this now and close the KVM down. I'm going to put that away. Go back to that machine. Okay, so now as you can see, we've obviously pixie booted, and you can see here that um, we are ready to um, deploy a, an image to this machine through Windows Deployment Services as, as the instance to get to MDT, and now using MDT to actually task sequence and action that. Okay, so just try to make it a little bit closer for us so we can see what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm going to go through this and I'll, what the first thing it's going to ask for is uh, domain authentication. Okay, so asking, like I said, for domain authentication. So I'm going to log in now that the credentials apply to. And then it will give us the opportunity to select the image that I was telling you about in the server room, as you can see on the, on the KVM admin stone so these are the task sequences so I'm going to click on admin stone like I said and then we're going to enter it's going to ask us for like the customization set into that machine so I'm going to type in uh, English office 2 simply because that's what we've added to the admin systems OU I'm going to tell it to join a domain here and then uh, Kingswood UK, our domain name and uh, OU equals and then the OU you'd like it to go into so uh, in this is an instance it's admin systems us okay admin systems uh, next okay um, we don't want to move any data around from user accounts or restore anything go through it um, sort of English as the settings we want so through here as the keyboard and locale settings local settings and time zone we want English London okay go through It'll ask for um, whether you are happy with that and obviously whether you want to go ahead and install it and all the settings you've applied, click begin. And within sort of 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much is in the image, 
and the software is included, you'll have a freshly deployed machine and I'll show you when that's done. So the first thing it does is it, it wipes the drive, formats it, partitions it and starts to install um, basic hardware drivers that are included in the boot WIM. Then it will copy the operating system actual image from Windows Deployment Services that you've imported or, or sent to that. And then after that, any software that's included with that as a task sequence. Um, and after that's done, it joins the domain, you reboot, activate your Windows, activate your Office, and you'll have a fully working machine. Check back soon. Okay, it's finishing now after about half an hour, 30 minutes. System then reboots after being imaged, and it will set itself up for the first time in effect. Starting services. SSD's flashing away nicely there. It will then install the devices because the drivers are already in the image uh, and in the boot whim as well. As you can see, the font has now sort of decreased in size and therefore the graphics driver has been installed automatically. And that's how we know it's sort of working. Applying system settings. It then reboots. And we're blue, almost ready to be going. Yeah. Almost ready to use. Yeah. Windows then boots up. Okay. Almost there now. Please wait. Okay. Just give it a few seconds to settle down, even though it's ready to go. When we hit enter here, it will log us in as the local admin account for the first time that's been created previously in the image and on the task sequence and then after that we reboot to join the domain officially because it's been pre-staged but not actually joined if that makes sense it's just a keyboard driver thing for Microsoft that it tries to give you there it'll finish the process as you can see all the software launching because obviously it's going to a classroom it's fantastic and then it will say completely successfully Details, get rid of that. Details, nothing to show because it's completed successfully. No errors or warnings. Click finish. As you can see now, it will say under properties here, um, 30 days to activate. When we reboot, it'll contact the KMS server and activate itself. It's logged on as local administrator. And also, we can activate Office now because it will contact the KMS server if we do this. So, yes. As you can see, the network driver and sound is installed, graphics is installed. I'll be able to right click on here, screen resolution, change this to the highest 1080p because it knows how to use that driver. Keep changes, OK, done. Activate Office. I need to bring the refresh rate up on this monitor actually. OK, that makes changes, OK. When I reboot now, we'll log in as supervisor. It's just a piece of software running in the background. The system's booting back up again now. And it'll ask us to log on to the domain. As you can see, control or delete or use the Windows Security logon. Logging in the supervisor now. You can see it's picking up the uh, credentials from AD. It's logged us in straight away. I'm just going to bring up the refresh rate on this monitor because it's pissing me off. Okay, it'll stop doing that then. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I right click on computer now, it's properties. Activate Windows, activate online, activate it successfully. As you can see, contact the KMS server straight away. Uh, Office will already be activated. And it'll launch with no issues whatsoever. Internet access. And there we have it. One successfully deployed PC. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later. I'm Jake Billing. See ya!